Hey YouTube, so the look that I'm doing today, I named Night Swim. It's because it's a nighttime look, it's a dark look, but it has a little bit of blue, so I thought it'd be clever and um, call it Night Swim. It's a um, really, really dark base. I don't do a lot of dark looks, but I wore um, the Rihanna I Love the Way You Lie look to work the other day, and a lot of people loved it, so this is just me doing something else because that one is just so done. So, um, yeah, it's just a dark look. It has like a blue and it's sparkle, nice for night, light lip, nice amount of concealer throughout here, and a nice nude to match my lip. Um, highlight. So if you um, like this look, stay tuned. Alright, so to start, I've already of course primed my lid. I am going to take this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and it is in Black Bean. And I'm going to scrape that all across the lid. I want a nice black base. Alright. And then I'm going to smudge that with my finger. Really smudging the outer edges, like smoking it out. Yeah, just like that. And don't worry if it's not perfect. Alright, and then I'm going to take my dumb brush here and then I'm going to mix both of these colors. This is a Smashbox um, eyeshadow duo in Glow Getter. I like that. Hello. And I'm just going to mix both of these colors together because you want something that's really close to your natural skin tone, which I feel like for me is both of these together. And you see how that looks. And I'm just going to windshield wipe or motion that back and forth, back and forth. And what it, this does is make um, the transition from the dark color to the skin tone a lot easier. Because otherwise you just look like it's just cut from one color to another, which is sometimes what you want, like the Beyonce video phone video um, where she has the black. I mean, obviously she wanted it to just be a black lid. All right. So now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stiff, dense brush. I believe I got um, this one from Sephora. And I am going to take this color here. This color is so old. I think I've had this color since I was in like the seventh grade, which... Oh my god. It's like one of the first eyeshadows I ever got. It is a Avon color. I do know that. I took it from my mom. I don't even know why she had it. And um, it's a really like sparkly dark blue. And it's called Vagabond. And I'm going to take that color and put it on the brush. And I'm going to pat it all on my lid. So it's black base, but yet it has a hint of blue shining through. Hence the night swim. Alright. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take that jumbo eye pencil again. And I'm just going to, not the water line, but just the lash line there. And then I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to pat this into the lash line as well. Just a little, not, not a whole lot, just so that everything's blue. It's going to be a blue, smoky look. Okay. And it probably still has some product on it, this brush here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to smoke that out yet a little more, like so. And then I'm going to take this color I got from Coastal Slants. I think I've used this one before. It is called Blue Diamond. And it's just a blue sparkly color. And of course I have some of that already on the lid. And I'm going to take this um, fluffy large eyeshadow brush I got from um, Avon 
and I'm going to pat this and watch how this transforms. Wow. Now what this does is give you that pretty sparkle. You guys see that? Gives you the pretty sparkle that you want for a nice nighttime look. Like you're going out, you're going to the club, you want it to look. Hey. So there's that. And then I'm also going to take my angled liner brush here. And I'm going to pick up some of that blue diamond and I'm going to hit my inner corner here. Just right there. We don't want it to go all the way in. There we go. Now what I'm also going to do and just smoke it out a little bit is I'm going to take a little bit of Maybelline's Studio um, Gel Liner and this is in charcoal and I'm going to take it and just line my upper lid just tiny 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 bit where I know that my mascara rubs a little just a little bit not a whole lot there we go alrighty and then for my highlight I am going to take this Sally Girl, make sure you guys can see this, Sally Girl, little, um, I guess it's a quad, it's four. I'm going to concentrate mostly on this middle, upper middle strip here, but if you pick up a little bit of the other ones, that's alright. And I'm going to take just a fluffy eyeshadow brush, swipe, 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 and then just go over. My whole top lid area. There we go. I think I rather like that. All right, and here's the point where if you have any fallout here, you want to get um a cotton pad and a little bit of eye makeup remover and remove it there. I did really good. I don't even know why. Don't ask me why. And um, my earrings are noisy. And so I don't need that. But with a look like this, when you have so much concentrated on the eye, you are going to want to put concealer under there. So you want to make sure it's a nice, clean area. I am going to be using Dior Show Blackout Mascara. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Oh god, look how look how much drama the uh viewer show adds to the lashes. I fucking love it. Also my brother Jarrell just had a birthday, happy birthday Jarrell. I told him to give him a little shout out. He thinks this is so cheesy what I do. Alright. Wow. Dang. Okay. And then I have this elf. It's a, uh, I use it as a concealer brush. I imagine it's a foundation brush. Of course it is. And since I don't use foundation, I'm going to be using the same thing I use all the time. This uh, Revlon Medium Deep. Take a little bit of that on my foundation brush and I'm just going to swipe, swipe, swipe. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Okay, and I'm going to wipe a little bit of that off. I don't like a lot of makeup on my face. It's just annoying to me. I know that sounds retarded because I'm a makeup addict, but I guess I'm really more of an eyeshadow addict. I'm going to use it and swipe it across. And then what I like to do, because I hate a lot of stuff on my face and I want it to look natural, I go like this. And it just gives me just what I need. You guys can see that. Alright. And last but not least, on my lips, I'm going to be using the Mix and Mingle from Revlon here. It's like, I don't know if you can really see how it's mixed in um, because I've swirled it so many times. But it's like peachy, corally, light nude. And I'm going to take some of it on my finger.
I guess I can use a wet brush. I never use these. Mm. So what do I have in here? I wonder. Of course I can't find it when I need it. There we go. Just a nice like nudeness. Oh my. Oh wow, I love it. Alright, I'm gonna try to zoom in here guys. Let me see if I got this. Alright. Now here's the finished look. It's a little dark with the blue sparkles, light lip. You know how I do. Alrighty. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time. Peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs>